Good morning, friends. Welcome back to our channel. We thought it would be fun to show you some of our favorite things that we like to do for arts around here. So if you are new, I have eight children and my oldest is 13 down to seven months old. So we have a lot of ages represented and we have a lot of kids who like to do art. If you have never tried watercolor pencils, they are so much fun. We are big fans of watercolor pencils. You can use them just like a colored pencil. They have a really rich color or you can wet them. So Elsie is Mom, dipping so them in water before she colors, which is how she's getting such a dark kind of creamy look. Jeremiah's drawing right now just like a pencil. The black. Mm -hmm. Or you can color and then water brush your drawing after you color it, which I, is that what you're going to do, Jeremiah? You're not sure. Okay, it's really, it's, they're just so fun to work with. I actually, as an adult, really like watercolor penciling. Watercolor penciling? Is that a word? Okay, so this is really cool. This is what you can do with watercolor pencils that you can't do with other pencils. You can take a brush after you're done and they turn That's into cool. a watercolor effect. You did such a good job on that drawing, Jeremiah. Nice. Very good. Try now paint over here. Well, he could do, you can do other colors. You can make a sky. Ah, oh, it had some on. So Jeremiah is, you're making the sky in the background. So these are so much fun because you can just scribble all over your paper. No. Look at that. Isn't that fun, guys? Looks like you need a little more water. My mouse is so yeah. cute. I just want to draw another. Okay. See it. My mouse is so cute. Is I'm just cute going to draw another mouse. Right. Oh, that's fun. It was a bigger brush. Good idea, Silas. When we got our order of watercolor pencils from Arteza, they accidentally sent us a second one and they said we could keep it. We opened it, we were going to use it, but then we thought it would be a lot more fun to give it away to one of you so that your kids could try out these watercolor pencils and hopefully enjoy them as much as ours do. So leave us a comment below. Just let us know you're here or share a tip about an art thing that you like to do with your kids and we will randomly pick one winner to send this too. It's Grandpa's birthday, so we're making a happy birthday Grandpa sign, aren't we, guys? Uh huh. Happy birthday. And they are having. I'm starting with pink soap. So <laughs> They're having a lot of fun because we got a big box of finger paints opened up. These are the paints from Arteza, and they are really fun. I'm scrubbing with pink soap. Oh yeah, you are. They're really fun because they're a metallic color, but they wash off so easily, so mommy's not stressed. Yeah, but you have to scrub. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's so cool. Really enjoying these new finger paints from Arteza. I can put a link below if you're interested in checking them out. They are super duper easy to wash off, which is bringing me peace of mind. Samuel's doing some drawing today. I was given these books years ago, a big stack of them from somebody Thank you for turning that. From someone who sold paper. They used to sell paper. And these, I guess, were the paper samples. There's just a bunch of random books like this that have all these papers stapled in. And Samuel discovered one today, so he's going to fill it with some drawings using Art for Kids Hub, which is a really fun YouTube channel. Do you want to show us a little bit of it? It's a dad and his kids who draw side by side together. It's like... They He's very encouraging, and so it just makes drawing fun. And Samuel enjoys it a lot, don't you, buddy? So if you don't have paper sample books, which I'm guessing you don't, you could just staple a bunch of pieces of paper together to create some books for your kids. Okay, carry on, Samuel. Thank you. Leo, a while ago, bought an app called Stop Motion. And how does it work, bud? 
um, so you take you take many pictures and then they put the pictures into a, basically a video because they move the pictures at a at a fast rate which blends them together. Is there anything else you can edit once they blend all your photographs together? Like, what do you mean? You add things to it, or? Yeah, you can. Like, you can add faces to things on here, and you can draw on this, too. Add sound? Yeah, you can add sound and music tracks and stuff. And voiceovers, right? Yeah. It's a good beginner app for people wanting to try stop motion. And it's just called stop motion? Yeah, that's what it's called. Okay.